Welcome back to the Airsoft FPS and Boneyard channel. We're going to continue with the TAC-41 build series. This time we're going to look at the Scorpion Piston plus the Silverback Advanced Piston Head. I think I had the wrong title on the last video or the wrong slide. That one was Scorpion Piston with all the springs. This one is using the Silverback Advanced Piston Head on top of the Scorpion Piston with those same springs. So two Jewel Ray Packs, 2.8 Jewel Ray Packs, the Ray Packs Hulk, and 150 Newton Silverback. Similar to the last video, we're going to go in slightly different order than the previous videos. We're going to start with energy, then go to sound, FPS, and standard deviation. The Silverback Advanced Piston Head is quite a bit heavier than the heads that come with the Scorpion Piston. So whenever we look at a heavy piston, you can see here is heavy versus light. The heavy piston with the Advanced Piston Head is going to be heavier than the heavy version of the piston that we use for the Scorpion, simply because the head itself is larger and heavier. Same with the light piston. Once again, we're going to use two different air brakes, a short air brake and a long air brake. The air brakes that come with the advanced piston head are not adjustable. You have short, medium, or long, but you cannot tune them like you can with the Scorpion piston. Looking at some of these results, I'm targeting 2.8 joules. If you're targeting something else, feel free to, to find the number that works for you. And then I'm also checking on the left side to see if I'm going to chrono correctly, because I got a chrono at less than 2.8 joules with 0.2 gram BBs, which is 550 feet per second. On the right with 0.45, we don't actually see anything that hits that 2.8 joules. Hop up here is right in the middle at 5. I usually run it at 7 on the field, so I'll get a little bit higher values than this. What's kind of interesting, so look at the Silverback Advanced Piston Head, short air brake, light piston. The 2.8 joule ray packs does just as well as the 150 Newton Silverback and the Hulk. Same, more or less the same result whenever we use the long air brakes and pretty close whenever we're using the uh, short air brake with the heavy piston. It's a little bit lower. So if you're going to run the Silverback Advanced Piston Head, especially with the Scorpion Piston, you probably don't need a super strong spring. Now when we run stock, and this is fully stock TAC-41, this is not the Silverback Advanced Piston Head. Uh, we do see how much loss we're getting. We do get quite a bit of jewel creep if we compare the 0.2 to the 0.45 gram BBs, as we'd expect because this is quite a heavy piston with that Silverback Advanced Piston Head on top. I do like this setup here. <clears throat> if I was to target 2.3 joules, with some, which some fields require, add ghost, Advanced Piston Head, a short air brake, light piston, which is all black aluminum components on the Scorpion Piston end up at 2.3 joules it's perfect this 2.6 isn't bad either so when i run my hop up a little bit higher i might be around 2.7 maybe i'll hit the 2.8 that i want but that's pretty good considering it's only a 2.8 joule ray packs is not going to be very hard to pull back don't have to go all the way up to the hulk don't have to use the 150 newton silver back so it's a pretty good result and so is using the heavy piston now when we look at sound we actually get quite a bit quieter than we did, not, not a quite a bit, but we do get a little bit quieter than we did with just the Scorpion Piston. With that kind of target that I'm looking at of the light piston, short air brake with the advanced piston head, right around 94 decibels, which is pretty quiet. If you were after that 2.3 joule, you'd be all the way down at 91. With the long air brakes, you can get quieter, but they're generally not enough energy for me to want to use them. Yeah, they're all less than 1.7. So, but, this is pretty good results. Keep in mind, no suppressor or anything here, so you could quiet down the replica even more. As far as the FPS goes, not going to spend a ton of time here because you just saw the energy and they're more or less the same, just calculated from each other. We are running right around 350 feet per second with that short piston light, or, sorry, short air brake light piston, 375 right around there is 2.8 joules, so close. When I look at what I got a chrono with, if I run that that combination with 2.8 joule ray packs, I'm 70 FPS under where, I, where I'm allowed to be. So I got plenty of room there to play a little bit with my hop up. If I want to run 7 instead of 5, it'll work just fine. As far as standard deviation goes, not bad results are kind of targeted application on the scorpion piston without the silverback head was a little bit better it was around 1.8 for the one that we selected <clears throat> here we're around 2.3 feet per second standard deviation we wanted to be less than one um, 
and we don't really see that show up anywhere. Never really get that low. But we're still, for the most part, hovering around two, which is not too bad. Not a lot of outliers here. We saw much bigger outliers when we were using just the Scorpion Piston. Uh, we get a couple that are a little bit high with the 150 Newton Silverback Spring, which was all over the place without the Advanced Piston Head. So the Advanced Piston Head seems to calm down the standard deviations. It doesn't drop them way back. It just makes them pretty consistent across the different categories and springs that we're using. So overall, it is a nice option, but it does add cost. If you already had the Silverback Advanced Piston Head and you were going to add the Scorpion Piston, you can buy the extra adapter you need to use it on the Scorpion Piston, which is what I did. But I'm not seeing improvements that are big enough to warrant spending the extra 30 to 50 bucks to get the Advanced Piston Head on top of the Scorpion Piston if you don't already have both or one or the other. The Scorpion Piston on its own with its two different piston heads seems to be just fine. I'm not seeing really much of a spectacular result here. It's not a lot quieter. The FPS and energy levels are actually a little bit lower. So we're not really gaining anything amazing. But if you had it, it it's pretty, you, know, you can use it. There's nothing wrong with it. Next video, we are going to do a real quick comparison between the two hop-ups, the Stalker Kraken and the Stock TAC 41. Then we're going to move into repeating some of this testing with that Morpheus barrel, Kraken hop up, uh, and also the new cylinder head that comes with the Kraken, which has a pad on the front and a pad on the back uh, for absorbing impact. We'll see how that does. Then after that, we might look at shortening the barrel, or if there's you know some other upgrades you guys would be interested in seeing, um, let me know. We are somewhat nearing the end of the TAC-41 build series, at least until I find something else to play with on the TAC-41. Put a note down in the comments below if you have an idea or anything else you want tested. I'll do my best to answer any questions or if it's a, an idea, see if I can work it in.